Hi, my name is Miriam Marlier, and I'm an assistant professor at UCLA. Today, I'll be discussing an ongoing research project examining recent severe wildfire events in California and the implications for air quality and regional public health. I'd like to start with a brief overview of why the contribution of fires to air pollution is an important public health issue. Wildfire smoke con contributes to several air pollutants, and our team is focusing on the contribution to fine particulate matter, or PM2.5, which is dangerous for public health. Previous studies have linked smoke PM2.5 exposure to mortality and respiratory morbidity, and certain segments of the population are more vulnerable to these health effects. This brings me to our current project, where we're interested in characterizing smoke PM2.5 exposure from recent large fire events in California. And specifically, we're interested in evaluating the fire emissions and subsequent air pollution from these large fire events. Then we will consider how certain strategies could reduce negative health outcomes. In the first part of our analysis, we're calculating high resolution fire emissions estimates oriented around individual fire events that occurred in 2018, which was a severe fire year in California. We estimate our fire emissions using high resolution Landsat satellite data at 30 meter spatial resolution. In the image on the left, you see an example of results from our project. In shades of red, there are new Landsat based estimates. And for reference, we have a commonly used global fire emissions inventory known as GFAS shown in gray in the background. Our next step is to model how these different fire emissions inventories impact subsequent smoke PM2.5 concentrations. The plot on the left is showing the baseline model runs using the global GFAS emissions inventory for 2018. We then re-ran our atmospheric model using modified emissions from the new Landsat-based inventory. And the plot on the right is showing the ratio between these two model runs. So you can see that there are substantial increases in smoke PM2.5 with the higher resolution emissions estimates. The takeaway here is that there are important contributions that wildfires make to air pollution in California. And this is a regional public health issue. We're incorporating high spatial resolution satellite data to characterize large wildfire events. And this will be used to assess how future policies could reduce wildfire risks and the health burden. Thank you. I'd like to recognize my collaborators and please feel free to contact me with any questions.